Hey, what it do, y'all? It's your boy G, and I'm back with another video. And yeah, we got YSL indicted on RICO charges. RICO motherfucking charges. What the fuck is RICO? Why they getting some Puerto Rico nigga uh, name? The lock of all niggas around the motherfucking world. You know what I'm saying? What the fuck is this shit, man? Uh, but yeah, that boy Young Thug, Gunna. And 28 other YSL people locked up, man, over some Rico shit, man. I can't cap, man. I did a little bit of time in Juvie back in the day. A little bit of time, man. And, uh, I want to say it was like a week. That shit was ratchet, bro. That shit was ratchet, bro. The Juvie jail. Not even the big boy jail. The juvie jail was ratchet, bro. And that was enough for me to be like, man, I don't ever want to be in no type of situation like this ever again. Don't lock me up. Don't put me in no box. Don't cage me the fuck up. You know what I'm saying? I want to be free. I want to do what I want to do when I want to do it. You know what I'm saying? But uh, in a world where, where blacks are targeted to pretty much get their ass locked up, like, you got to move wise. You got to move smart. You got to be, you got to, you got to just, you know, pretty much get your money Get your, your shit straight and get the fuck out the way, bro. Like, stay the fuck out the way, you know what I'm saying? It's ironic as fuck that that thug will be in this position right now, for real. After, you know what I'm saying, a lot of the other shit he done did previously, he done pretty much skated straight through, you know what I'm saying? Then we got, you know what I'm saying, him poking fun at 6 9 over just being a, you know, a rat and shit. Now you in that position now, the possibly have to, you know what I'm saying, say your ass and that might come with giving up some information, you know what I'm saying? Real niggas don't do that, you know what I'm saying? Quote unquote, real niggas don't snitch, bro. That's not in the protocol for real nigga activity, bro. And you know how you can stay the fuck out of that rim? Don't do no shit, bro, that, that will have you having to do, do some snitching or talking, or, you know what I'm saying? But uh, niggas every day doing uh, illegal shit and, uh, yeah, be setting themselves up to be going down there and, uh, yeah, having to talk. But this nigga thug done got himself locked up in the same jail his op in. That boy Lucci in the same, they in the same jail now, bro. How ironic is that, bro? How ironic is that, bro? Allegedly, Thug put some hits out on Lucci. If y'all don't know who Lucci is, man. Boy got boy got some songs. He got some cuts. I fuck with Lucci, bro. Yeah. Home, I might fuck your hoe and pay a bill. Yeah, we hey. were told to get it how we oh. live. Yeah. And, uh, man, I guess he said some shit. And back in the day, him and Thug been going at it ever since, bro. On some... I ain't gonna lie, awesome, awesome kitty shit, bro. It's already enough, bro, that to hire a white man doing so much and try to get us thrown in, in the fucking jail cells or just get us pretty much out of here in the fucking first place. Then we got our, our own fucking culture. Can't stand to see us with fucking breath in our fucking lungs, bro. That shit is wild, bro. It's, it, it's so tough for the black man out here in this generation. I mean, no damn sense, bro. Like, it's crazy, bro. I wish we polished the fuck up, honestly, bro. Support your brother. Support your neighbor, bro. Support your brother, your cousin, your uncle, bro. And why I say, and why I'm sticking to the man, because, like I said, it's tough for the black man, bro. I ain't gonna say it ain't tough for the black woman. Well, God damn it, is it tough for the black man? God damn, and we put a lot of the stress on our damn selves, bro. Man. So, Gunner, Thugger, 28 of the YSL boys is under the scope right now. Fed case, bro. They said, you know, that Fed shit ain't nothing to play with. They, you know, they always be saying, bro. They say when they come for you, they, they, it's damn near, they got you. They gonna convict you. You you good, you good to pack it up, and you gone. You know what I'm saying? And it's just like, damn, bro, not Thug, bro. Thug been the done been delivering some good music for the for the folks, for the for the culture, for the for the people for a while. Now I'm not gonna say buddy music is oh my god. But dude makes some good music though. He makes some good music, you know? And it's just like, damn. 
this is crazy, bro. Y'all think Thug up out of here? Y'all think Thug gonna be in there singing like a bird? You think he gonna be, uh, I think he gonna squeeze up out of this one? You know what I'm saying? And it's crazy because they trying to use lyrics to indict motherfuckers, to, to, to prosecute motherfuckers, to uh, pretty much say these people are, are what their lyrics are saying they are. And that's kind of fucked up, you know what I'm saying? But as much as the hip hop genre wants you to believe everything they saying in they in they flows, how could you be mad at it? You know what I'm saying? Everybody wanna be tough, everybody wanna stand behind the shit that they rapping about. So it's just like Sheesh. But yo boy, they got it out for us now, man. COVID over with. And like that boy Hassan said, we are the pandemic within that pandemic. So they trying to get our ass up out of here now. You know what I'm saying? Damn, it's tough, bro. Can't believe this shit, man. Crazy. That boy 6 9 having a field day, bro. Poking fun at Young Thug right now. And, hey, I guess that's just a little payback. You know what I'm saying? I guess it's just a little payback. But, man, niggas, niggas just need to sit the fuck down, bro. Fuck some payback. Fuck some some jab back or some get back, bro. Bro, go sit the fuck down, bro, and just take care of your folks, take care of your kids, bro. Take care of your mom, your pops, bro. Worry about what's important, bro. Not none of that vindictive, uh, conniving ass bullshit that that niggas be on, bro. Crazy, bro. And it's wild because. Once Thug come out, bro, if and, if and when he does come out, bro, can he still rap about Thug shit? Can he still rap about gangster shit? Because if they're already saying that they taking with his his material now and using it, then any any future music he made, bro, they watching, they listening, they they taking notes, bro. That's tough, bro. You can't even. Damn, that's tough, bro. That's tough. <sighs> That's tough. It's damn near being put in that 6 9 situation. But phew, that boy 6 9 phew, he, he one of a kind, bro. He, he, he just, hey, he, he 6 9 bro. But don't nobody want to be seen as a 6 9 ass nigga. Not, not thug, bro. If he come out, he might just have to go gospel. He might just have to rap about Lord. Because niggas say anything thug or gangster. Oh, I got, pff, I got a spot of spot just for peace. They on your ass, bro. Like, damn, bro. You can't say shit. You can't say shit that sound anywhere close to fucking cool. Like, damn. Tough. Tough. But yeah, man. The irony of this YSL motherfucking Rico case, bro. Man, what y'all think? Free Young Thug, man. Free Young Thug, bro. It's going to be interesting to see what happened with this case. I ain't going to cap, man. But, uh, yeah, y'all. Y'all stick around, bro. Y'all know what to do. We're going to be back.